In sheep production, we, under, we know that the lambing time is one of the key times that uh, management intervention can make a difference in the outcome and in, in the profitability of our operation. At lambing time, we understand also that our management can, can reduce losses that uh, often occur. As we list the, law, the causes of losses of baby lambs at the time, uh, newborn lambs, uh, at least 10% uh, of our lamb crop across the country is lost in the first 10 days of life. The primary reasons are starvation, hypothermia, injury, and scours. And we've got a few tools today that I think that we would like to show you that we've developed at South Dakota State University that can help particularly in, uh, in those two areas of hypothermia as well as uh, reducing injury in baby lambs. The first one I'd like to demonstrate is a barrel. A very simple standard barrel that we can find that we've created a, a in-pen hot box. This barrel has been cut out on the side where we make a 15 by 15 inch hole. We take a standard heat lamp with light bulbs rather than heat lamps. 100 watt bulbs and often we use two of them and they can be affixed in the inside of the barrel with the cord coming up through the top and secured in a manner that protects the U and of course the, the apparatus from falling in the ground. Frequently we use a, just a stock of metal that can lay in the barrel and we can wire the, the fixture, the heat lamp fixture to the top of the barrel. We can exteriorize, exteriorize the clip and fix it to near the top or to the, to the desired uh, height. But we can take this barrel and uh, put it in a pen maintain the bonding with the babies and, and their mother and by doing that by doing that we can take lambs that are a bit chilled we can warm them up and more importantly improve the health and uh, well-being of that baby lamb and uh, and yet maintain contact with her mother and, and improve and maintain the bonding that's necessary to fulfill the uh, our goal of turning that you out with lamb or lambs the the desire to use Two 100 uh, watt bulbs in this barrel will maintain the temperature at nearly 100 degrees and that's important as we're looking to warm up the lambs that were chilled in the winter months, uh, January, February lambing, uh, certainly run into those occasions. So if we were to demonstrate the placement of this barrel, now we have metal pens here today which makes it a little more difficult. If we have wooden pens we can go inside the barrel and fasten the barrel to the wooden fixtures in the corner. But with this barrel opening, we can put the baby lambs in there. We can secure the baby lambs in this barrel if necessary for a short period of time, maybe even a couple hours, to warm them up because it's very important before we administer colostrum to a baby lamb, they have to be warmed up. If they get chilled, their mouth is cold, uh, we can, uh, in fact, uh, we can in fact do more harm than good on a, on a chilled lamb because they may in fact experience anaphylactic shock. So it's very important to warm up a baby lamb. Over the years we've had hot boxes but generally they were out of pen and the risk is that we leave that mom and the baby separated long enough and we lose that bonding effect which is undesirable since we end up uh, promoting the uh, chance of having orphan lambs. The uh, in-pen hot box has been uh, uh, utilized in, a, in many uh, different operations as a, uh, as a safeguard to, uh, against uh, hypothermia in baby lambs and uh, found great application and utility. Another, another tool that we've created more recently that for lambs uh, to protect baby lambs from injury They do not require the uh, supplemental heat with the heat, with the heat lamp or the light bulbs is what we call a jump board. Now this is 48 inches long and 15 inches high. And this is this partition is placed in a pen to create a corner where we can put the baby lambs behind this partition. And where it becomes important is we have lambs that are born that are a bit weak or over aggressive ewes that want to paw their baby lambs at birth, we can protect those lambs from injury and get them off to a good start until they get strong enough. We can put the lambs behind this partition. Now they could be this partition, this partition 
from the center of the partition to the corner is 24 inches, which makes sense because it's got a 48 inch span in the front. We probably need a minimum of 18 inches to the back corner if we're putting twin lambs behind this board. The height might be indicative of the style of use that a person has in their operation, but we found this has been a very, very important tool to reducing injury on ewes that uh, lack the ideal maternal characteristics that we desire in a sheep enterprise. In the short term, we can have an impact on improving the health of baby lambs.